What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over multicolor printing with the Adventure 5M 3D printer. I'm going to show you how I do my topographical maps. Um, this here is Touch Terrain. It is an easy and free website for getting map data. Um, all you got to do is go to Google, go Touch Terrain. It's going to be your first link up at the top. And then click anywhere to begin. It'll take you to just some random place. I believe it's in uh In a world of pure imagination. What is that? Wyoming. Um, now I'm trying to do Mount Rainier because I thought that would be interesting. See a volcano, drink a volcano, be a volcano. As a plaque. And it's got this cool little spot here. So the red box is going to be the area that we're exporting. I want this side information here because I want to put a little plaque to mark, mark that it is Mount Rainier. So I'm going to do that. I'm kind of going to shrink the side a little bit. There we go. And then bring that in. So we've got it there. And then we'll put Mount Rainier right there in that box. So once you've got your area selected, you're going to go ahead and hit Export Selected Area. Pop up this fun little animation there. And then you'll download your zip file. It's that easy. Easy peasy. Once your zip file is downloaded, you'll go ahead and open it up in your files. And that should look something like this. It should have a file, an STL, already ready to go for you. So we're just going to go ahead and open that up. And now is the part where we're going to get into multicolor printing here. So as we can see, we've got our little mountain. I want this to be a touch bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. And then I'm going to start and repair the edges to begin with, just to make sure that that's out of the way. And then we'll wait. 2,000 years later. Okay, our edges are repaired. Our edges are repaired. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come up into our slicer, and I'm going to use the emboss feature here to put our little thing to show that this is Mount Rainier. Embossed text. Oh, fancy. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, last time I had an issue where it came out at the bottom, so watch out for that if you're following along. And then we'll go ahead and hit enter. And that's all it needs to be. Okay. We've got our model, we've got it all set up. Now we're going to go ahead and slice it. And this is where we get into the multicolor part. So the printer itself does not have any features for multicolor printing. Lame. What you have to do is you've got to take advantage of the ability to switch out prints and pause them so that you can do the multicolor thing. Um, so here we're going to go ahead and go down to, we've got 80 layers total. I think what every 20 layers sounds pretty good. So we'll do that as the first one, add pause. At 40, we'll add another one. Add pause, 60, we'll add another. And then we'll let it finish itself off the 60 to 80. So now that that's put down, we can see we've got an edge here, so the whole surface is intact. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit slice plate again so that it can calculate all of that with the pauses and then send it over to the printer for printing. I'm really excited to see how this is going to come out. I, I love the topographic map that I did on the last video in the shorts. Um, so we're going to check this out. This is where I'm going to switch over to the other camera, and I'll see you there. Now let's go to our five-day forecast. What's the weather like, Ali?
righty, guys, and there we have it. Multicolor printing on the Adventure 5M Flash Forge 3D printer. Super cool map at the end of it. Now, there are a lot of different ways to use this application. I did make that fancy pants keychain the other night, which was super sweet, as well as some portal wall art, signs, all sorts of other stuff could be, um, you know, another use of this same process. You really just pause the printer at a certain stage, switch out the filament for the color that you want, and then go from there. Now, if you are looking for multicolor filaments, I have set up affiliate links on this channel. I use the Pet G filament because I'm out here in Texas and it's super hot. PLA just does not hold up in the car. PLA is great for test prints, prototyping, that sort of thing. But if you're really wanting it to last, go to cons, that sort of thing, you're going to be wanting to print PT Pet G. Um, so this is what I use. It's absolutely stellar. The colors are vibrant. I've had it for about a month. It's 10 total kilograms for 120 bucks. So it's about 12 bucks a roll. Um, really competitive price there. Let me know if you want to see anything else um, coming up. My next video is probably going to be about the transparent prints that I've been doing and the LED lights that I've been putting in those, making a little wall lamp. Um, that's going to be coming out soon. I will be leaving the portal radio project behind as that has become less and less fun. I hit a wall with the buttons and I am honestly wanting to move on to cooler things. I've got that drone project that's been biting at my heels. I want to make a couple shells for that. So that's going to be coming up sometime in the next month as well. Finally have good recording equipment now. So it's going to be regular posting on Fridays. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe, all that good stuff. And again, check out the filament through the links. It's the same cost either way, and it helps support the videos that I make here for you. Um, and have a great time. Happy printing. That's a wrap.